What's up everyone? Welcome to Ashley Talks Movies. Today's video is a review of Red One. It's a new Christmas movie starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Chris Evans. Johnson plays a character named Callum Drift who is the head of Santa's security team. When Santa's kidnapped, Cal and other elf agents, elf stands for Enforcement Logistics Fortification. Cal and other elf agents enlist the help of cyber tracker Jack O'Malley, played by Chris Evans, to help find Santa and save Christmas. Before I jump into the review, do me a favor, like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss any of the videos I post here on the channel. What am I doing here? Last night, Red One, also known as St. Nicholas of Myra, was abducted from the North Pole complex. Are you saying Santa Claus has been kidnapped? Red One is basically an action comedy wrapped up in Christmas packaging. You can easily remove the Christmas references, characters, Santa, and you would have a buddy comedy where two people with opposite personalities and temperaments are forced to work together to solve a crime, which basically means this movie doesn't have a lot going for it beyond its holiday theme. And even then it isn't able to conjure up that magical holiday spirit that's often associated with these types of movies. I'm very much torn on Red One because on the one hand, I didn't hate it, but on the other, I didn't really like it either. It's frustrating because there are some things that I really did enjoy about this movie and you can easily see where a better movie would have existed if other choices had been made with the story and the characters. What I did like was how the movie had a modern approach to the story. For instance, you have Santa played here by J.K. Simmons who is doing his own kind of thing with the character, but instead of getting that traditional jolly old Saint Nick, you get a uh, Santa who lifts weights and does hundreds of push-ups a night. The North Pole has some traditional elements like flying reindeer and snow, but it also is set up like a futuristic compound with high-tech security and cloaking measures to keep it obscured from humans. But the movie doesn't seem too interested in exploring that world beyond the initial setup, which feels like such a waste because it is such an interesting world and it looks really cool. And I like all the high-tech gadgets that um, the elf agents like Cal have and use. This movie also has a pretty impressive cast. You know, in addition to Johnson, Evans, and Simmons, you also have Lucy Liu, who plays the director of a government agency that oversees mythological creatures. But it's mostly a thankless role, and uh, they don't really do much with her, which is a shame because it's Lucy Liu. Tiernan Shipka plays a Christmas witch named Grilla. But again, this is another role that utterly wastes its talent. Now, even though the premise seems pretty simple, the movie is trying to do way too much and you end up having this sort of overstuffed, convoluted story that is just pretty much a mess. It's trying so hard to cram in as many elements of Christmas that it possibly can from all possible spectrums, right? You have snowmen, you have elves, but it's also you know, delving into the, the myth of Santa and all these other holiday characters. It's doing that while also pulling from as many action movies as possible for inspiration, most notably from movies that exist in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And I said this in my out of the theater reaction, and I'll say it again here. There are so many moments in this movie where you can look at a scene and it literally feels like it was recreated from a Marvel movie, and it's not subtle at all. Johnson and Evans play well off of each other, because again, they're doing the buddy comedy thing, but unfortunately, the comedy is lacking, and a lot of the jokes that are set up in this movie don't land at all. Again, I didn't hate this movie, okay? It had a few fun moments. Unfortunately, those few fun moments don't really make it memorable. And I don't see this being a holiday classic anytime soon, but I do see it as a movie that people would have playing on in the background during the holiday season. So those are my thoughts on Red One. Share your thoughts in the comments, like this video, subscribe, and stick around for more videos like this. 